You are welcome to the part two of my presentation on transportation. In this part two, I will examine the least cost method of solving transportation problems. Try to watch the part one for better understanding. Least cost method. Least cost method. LCM. Least cost method. In this method, the cheapest route is always the focus for allocation. That is, our target, our target is to allocate to the least cost. That is the cheapest route. This method is better method when compared to the northwest corner method because costs are considered for allocation. I told you that the cheapest route is always the focus for allocation under the least cost method. And I've told you that the least, least cost method, I said it's superior to the Northwest Corner method because costs are considered for allocation. What are the steps for solving transportation problems using the least cost method? Step number one, assign as much as possible to the smallest unit cost. Assign as much as possible to the smallest unit cost. Assign as much as possible to the smallest unit, unit cost. Step two, you cross out the exhausted row or colon. Any row or colon that have been exhausted, you cross them out. Cross out the exhausted row or colon. Cross out the, cross out the exhausted row or colon. That is, if both rows and columns are exhausted simultaneously, only one should be crossed out. Where you, a, a row and column is simultaneously exhausted, you only cross out one, not the two at the same time. So, step three. Look for the next list cost in the uncrossed row or column and assign. Step three. Look for the next list cost in the uncrossed uncrossed row or column and assign these are the steps for solving transportation problems using the least cost method so, I want to consider a work example. This same question has been used under the Northwest Corner Rule. I, want, I probably want to use the same question as a work example on least cost method. We have SAO company has three plants or locations, ABC, where its goods can be produced with production capacity of 50, 60, 50 per month, respectively for a particular product. These units are to be distributed to four points X, Y, W, Z of consumption with the demand of 50, 70, 30 and 10 per month respectively. The following table gives the transportation cost in Naira from various plants to the various points of consumption. We have the destination we have sources or plants. We have X, Y, W, Z, A, B, and C, and the costs are equally given. Obtain the initial basic feasible solution by least cost method. LCM, least cost method. Now, let's have the solution. Solution. 
we have destination. Destination, we have X, Y, W, Z. We have plants. Plants, A, B, C. So, and now, what are the associated costs? So, for X, column X, we have 21, 19, and 24. 21, 19, and 24. For column Y, we have 18, 18, 25. 18, 18, and 25. For W, we have 27, 24, and 28. 27, 24, and 28. For the Z column, we have 22, 20, and 25. 22, 20, and 25. Now, back to the question. You were told SAO company has three plants or locations A, B, C, where its goods can be produced with the production capacity of 50, 60, 50 per month respectively. That means A, 50, B, 60, and C, 50. Now, A, this is A, 50, 60, 50 for A, B, and C. A, B, and C. This is the supply. That is the capacity. Capacity is the supply. These units, are to be distributed to four points X, Y, W, Z of consumption with demand of 50, 70, 30, and 10 per month, respectively. So that means X is 50, Y is 70, W 30, and Z 10. Now, 50, 70, 30, 10. So we have 50 for X, Y 70, W 30. Z, 10. Now, this is the demand. The first thing is to check if the problem is a balanced transportation problem. We want to check if it is balanced. That is, if demand and supply are equal. I've told you that where demand is not equal to the supply, then you will need to introduce a dummy. Now, 50 plus 70, that is 120 plus 30, 150 plus 10, 160. 50 plus 60, 110. Plus 50, 160. So it is balanced. So this is a balanced transportation problem since demand and supply are equal. So we can start our allocation now. I've told you that the least cost is our focus under the least, least cost method. If you check all the costs now, 18 is the least because 18 is lower than 19. And every other cost are greater than 18. So the least cost is 18. So we start our location from that 18. Now here you have 50. And in this column we have 70. That means you can only allocate 50 to this. Then you have exhausted this. Then you left with zero. You have allocated 50 from 70. Then you'll be left with 20. That is 70 minus 50. That will be 20. Now, then the next least cost now will be 18 again. So 18, that means you can allocate the remaining 20 to this. Then this one, if 20 is allocated to this row, you'll be left with 40. Then to, this 20 has been allocated, then you'll be left with zero. Now, the next list cost is 19. 19. So you can allocate, here you, have, you are left with 40 in this row. That means you give 40 to this. Then you've exhausted the 40 here. Then, you have allocated 40 from 50. Then you'll be left with 10. 
Remember, you cannot make any further allocation to this row. Since you have exhausted the supply here, you've exhausted what you have here. So no further allocation can be made can be made to this row. So you can't make allocation to this. So the remaining you can you the remaining 10 you have in this row can only be allocated to this. So we have 10 here. So 10 is exhausted. Then 10 has been allocated to this, then you will be left with 40 here. Now, no further allocation can be made to this since you have exhausted the 70 there. Then here you have 30 left. So you cannot allocate to this row. You cannot allocate to this row since you have exhausted the supply there. So you only allocate the 30 to this. So the 30 has been allocated. You will be left with 0. 30 from 40, you will be left with 10. Then the remaining 10 now will be allocated to this. So this is exhausted. Then this one will be left with 0. Now, what will now be the total cost of transportation? Total cost of transportation using the least cost method. So we have 18 times 50. 18 times 50. Amount in Naira, 18 times 50. Then, here you have 19 times 40. 19 times 40. Here you have 18 times 20. 18 times 20. Then, here you have 24 times 10. And here you have 28 times 30. 28 times 30. Here you have 25 times 10. 25 times 10. So, 18 times 50. That gives us 900. 19 times 40. That gives us 760. 18 times 20. That gives us 360. 24 times 10, that will be 240. 28 times 30, that will be 840. 25 times 10, that will be 250. So if you sum it up, we have 900 plus 760 plus 360 plus 240 plus 840 plus 250. We have 3,350. 3,350. So, that is the solution to this question. This is the end of my presentation on least cost method. My next presentation, I will examine the Vogel method and unbalanced transportation problem. Thanks for watching, Ezekiel. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.